Okay, this is to make an illustration of how, whether or not the Eye of Reach always hits dead center. It does not always hit dead center. What I've done is I've created this little red dot. That little red dot is at the very center of my screen. That is dead center. That is where an aim point would go if somebody has an aim point turned on in a game or their monitor allows them to do that. That's where that would be. Now, at this range, it firing with an eye of reach is incredibly accurate. But does it always hit dead center? No. So what I've done is, on my screen, I don't have the ability to turn on an aim point. This is just a representation uh, that I created in Photoshop, putting it dead center and overlaying an OBS. So I put uh, a dot, I tape, put a piece of tape with a dot. I'm gonna get hit with a rain real soon. Um, on my monitor, so that I can see. And I've, I've rebound the fire key to a keyboard key, so that my mouse does not move when I fire. So that's where we've got it. Now, firing. That one was almost dead center. And that also was pretty much close to dead center. But not all of them are dead center. And this disparity in shots increases as you get back farther. So if I reload, let's go here, just swap this out, and swap back. Reloaded. Now if we move back, and do the same thing, aim at roughly the same spot, we fire now, you can see those are hitting much different apart, much wider apart. So that's the difference there. And that's what I mean by a cone. This, the, the eye of reach is incredibly accurate. Apparently, even at this distance, you could hit a body with that. But it is not hitting dead center every time. There is a cone coming out from the tip of this gun through which, inside which the bullets will fly in some sort of random area. And that cone gets wider, obviously, as you go out. Much the same way, I mean, I use the blunderbuss as an example because you can actually visually see that cone at work because it fires all of those bullets out along a cone Hello. Oh. Right? If we go and shoot this, you'll see the spread. Roughly the same distance we were before. So you see that spread. And that spread will get wider. Wait for those to disappear. The farther out you are. Come on. There you go. So now you see there's some up here. So it's obviously the spread is much wider. But there's a cone on all the guns if you hip fire them. The same is true of the uh, of the pistol. If you hip fire the pistol. So if I don't aim, right, and I just fire this. And I'd say that's probably even more accurate than the Eye of Reach, hip firing. Let's we'll see at a distance if it's uh, the same. Let's go back. Let's do the same gun just for to make sure, you know. I know they're all the same. 
but it's good to have the same gun for testing purposes. So we're back here at a distance. And we'll fire. So the eye of reach and the pistol, roughly the same, roughly the same kind of accuracy when hip firing. I'd say the uh, the pistol is probably a little more accurate, but none of them always hits dead center. So whoever makes an argument that the pist that the eye of reach always hits dead center when you fire it, it's not true. Thus endeth the lesson.